Hello, my name is Elizabeth Watson. I'm a postgraduate researcher at the University of East Anglia in Norwich, working with George Malcolm and Louise Ewing. I'll be presenting our project, When Children Get the Gist, the Development of Rapid Seeing Categorization. Most researchers argue that the processing of basic level categories, for example kitchen, bathroom, are prioritised relative to superordinate level categories, for example inside-outside. But some research suggests that the superordinate level is prioritised initially, as observed in response to very briefly presented objects and scenes. While there are quite a few developmental studies investigating object categorization in infancy and early childhood, there are no studies regarding children's categorization of briefly presented scenes. We know that many aspects of scene processing have a protracted development throughout childhood. This includes both children's behaviour towards scenes and the development of scene-related neural regions, all of which could implicate the way children conceptualise visual scenes at a subordinate and basic level. We presented children with images of natural scenes and asked them to categorise each scene at a superordinate level in one block and at a basic level in the other. Each scene was presented for one of four durations, 32, 64, 100 or 200 milliseconds. Data was collected at a public science event in Norwich, which allowed us to collect a large sample of children that we separated into three age groups based on our predictions regarding scene processing development more generally. This was 5 to 6, 7 to 8 and 9 to 10 years. We'll start with the superordinate level judgments. What is immediately striking is just how well children performed in this task, all performing above chance. Nine to 10 year old children demonstrated adult-like accuracy consistently from 32 milliseconds, while seven to eight year old children did so from 100 and five to six year old children only at 200 milliseconds. In contrast, participants found the basic task more difficult, with the youngest group failing to perform above chance at the shortest duration. Here, 9 to 10 year old children only demonstrated adult like accuracy consistently from 100 milliseconds, while 5 to 6 and 7 to 8 year old children did not reach an adult like level of accuracy by 200 milliseconds. Our results suggest a protracted development in children's capacity to process scene gist across both superordinate and basic level categories, consistent with other behavioural and neuroimaging research. The performance of the younger groups in the basic task suggests that the mechanisms related to basic categorization may take longer to mature. This, this could be related to the difficulty of the task itself, but it could also be related to the processing of the scene and how they access categorical information. These findings do conflict with early theories that basic categorization is always prioritized and develops first in childhood. Our findings warrant further research in these often neglected age groups. An initial superordinate advantage in childhood is consistent with what has been observed in adults. It's not clear if our results coincide with the development of object categorization or are unique to scenes. I think this is something that will emerge with further research. In terms of next steps for us, to overcome behavioural design challenges, we plan to use EEG and decoding analysis to measure the more subtle neurological differences in when basic and subordinate level categories emerge in children's processing of scenes. Thank you for listening. If you have any questions or would like a copy of the poster, you can contact me at lizzie.watson at uea.ac.uk.